Okay, so you might have caught on to the latest hype, the Notebook LM from Google that basically turns any document into a uh, two-hosted podcast. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, down below in this uh, edition of Brainiacs, uh, you'll see an example of this for those that are just watching this on YouTube. Google it. It's been all over Twitter, um, LinkedIn, or better yet, just go to labs.google. You see that right here. Scroll down, you're going to see, by the way, Labs it, Google is a great place to check out new, interesting AI-driven tools and features. You can see a whole host of them here. Sometimes you got to join a wait list, otherwise you can just get started. Um, but these emerging tools types down here, oh, here we go. Uh, Notebook LM is right there. Uh, go into that. I've had another video on that as well. But what I want to show you today is a different product out by Google that does something similarly, but different. So I want you to scroll this way and you're going to see illuminate, illuminate. So I want you to click on try it now. And basically what this is, it's the audio um, generation sort of tool that you see in Notebook LM, but it doesn't turn it into a playlist. So basically what you do is you can Go in here and you can search for a topic and it's basically anything for research papers. Now you have to use a um, something from this website. So this website has a number of papers, research papers and all that. Um, so it's not good for like anything else other than research papers right now. Uh, but because I am obviously studying generative AI and its impact in knowledge work, as well as I'm also a law school professor, I do research. And yes, I do read research papers, but sometimes I want a quick way to understand if a full research paper is worth my time or to sort of dust off my understanding about what's in one. So basically you go in here and you uh, paste a PDF. I already grabbed one. It's of this paper right here. Um, basically on lawyers' preferences of documents perceived as authored by an LLM versus a human. Do lawyers have a bias, rightly or wrongly, of preferring documents that were generated by human versus AI? Okay, so interesting paper. Um, I plugged it in. You just plug in this. This is the PDF. You click plus. I've already done that here. It takes about 30 minutes to three minutes basically to do it. And this is what you get. Now, this is not going to be a podcast, but think of this as like a little micro audio book or audible for research papers. So here we go. Hopefully you can hear it. Powered by Google Illuminate. Here we go. This conversation is powered by Google Illuminate. Check out illuminate.google.com for more. Welcome to the discussion. Today, we're exploring a fascinating study on how lawyers perceive legal documents generated by AI versus those written by humans. The research focuses on whether the perceived source of a document, AI or human arrow, impacts how lawyers assess its correctness and language quality. What are your initial thoughts on this topic? It's a crucial area of investigation. As AI-powered tools become more sophisticated, understanding how legal professionals react to AI-generated content is vital for responsible implementation. Okay, so it's not like that upbeat podcast style. It's more like a almost like a fireside chat, maybe. Um, the interesting thing is that you can actually view the transcript. Okay, so everything that you're hearing there, you can actually go through, you can copy and paste this, you can play, which is really, really helpful. Notebook LM doesn't have that. Um, obviously, it turned it into six minute long. It You can have the source here. So anyway, just wanted to show this to you for anyone out there that's doing research um, or just to keep track of this because they're obviously experimenting with this document to voice feature. And it will be soon, um, relatively soon, before we're able to do this with other documents. So check it out. Play with it. Uh, very helpful. Very cool, actually. Talk to you.